All right, we're going through the door. Hey, everybody, it's Multiclassic Gamer here. Welcome. Watch the timing of the gas, Starfish Man. Yes, the timing of the gas that passes through your butt. Through your bum. Through your bum. Okay, we gotta spin this thing here. Yeah, welcome back to more... Shut up, Patrick. I'm trying to do my intro here, and you keep on interrupting me. You're gonna make me sad, okay, Patrick? You make... You make MCG sad. Thanks a lot, Patrick. Ugh. I can be so sensitive in my feelings sometimes. That's, yeah, that's pretty much the way I am. That's my, that's basically my personality in a nutshell right there. I'm a sensitive kind of guy with sensitive emotion. Yeah. I don't think it's really necessary to share that information with the entire internet. It's how the whole world knows, dude, the way you are. But, eh, whatever. whatever. Some people might try to make, take advantage of that, but really, trolling on the internet doesn't really help your comments. Yeah, okay, just a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Just give me just a bit. Yeah, little doggies. My little doggy. It's the, um... It's the Nintendo dog. Yeah, the Nintendo dogs, okay? Because they're... Yeah, they're angry because they're no, no longer in that, um... In that game right now. Because now they're in the stupid game all of a sudden. Came out, like, after Nintendo dogs. As far as I know. If it came out, um... After Nintendo, this came out in 2006. I don't know what year Nintendo Dogs came out, but if they came out after Nintendo Dogs, that's probably why the dogs are angry. Is because they're in this random SpongeBob game all of a sudden when they were just in Nintendo Dogs and pet by their own. You know, so they're, they're homeless dogs, yeah. Taking out the trash, yeah. Taking out the trash by right? smashing it, you know, smashing the trash, you know, by taking out. You'll never catch me, you five-pointed imbecile. Getting more and more sinister by the minute, dreaded Patrick. You're always constant interrupting me like that. Yeah. Hi there, Starfish Man's boutique and store. Starfish Man, blow on all the tall things in this area and they'll spin round. Why would I want to do that? They're concealing something. Spin them all around and you'll find out. And exciting! Looks like Phone Dude doesn't even know what trees are, dude. He said spin the tall things around. Yeah, that's a great, great choice of words there. What exactly are those tall things, huh? Is it what your mama gave you? Yeah. I shouldn't be saying that, especially since Patrick is running around in his underwear. Like, he really thinks that cape is going to save him from being embarrassed in public. Yeah, Patrick's a poor guy. Actually, I'm recording this at 9 o'clock at night on April 17, 2012. Man, you guys should be seeing this tomorrow, actually, so... I'm gonna have to edit this right after and then make the Heather video. Five-pointed fathead! Let's see how you handle these! Fathead, yeah, that's, that's the new game I like to give my brother. And yes, I have a brother, I have an older brother. Yeah, I like to make fun of sometimes just call them fat heads kind of funny. That's that's brotherly of brotherly love for you right there. I see you defeated my minions, Starfish Man. No matter, you won't defeat me. We can there's that ringing. Must be coming from close by. Oh my god. Well, actually, um, before we talk to the guy on the tele- guy on the phone again, let's talk to- Oh, never mind. Hello, phone guy! I'm a sorry. You're having the wrong number. No problem. <laughs> huh? Hello? Hello? Hello, Starfish Man. One more thing I need to tell you about. Every time you see one of these tabs, you will be able to pop up some useful stairs. Go on, try it out. Well, thank you, phone guy! Man, I can never think of anything funny to say whenever, like, um... Like, right there, when he said... When he hung up on Patrick randomly, and then Patrick tried to call him back. I, I, I was trying to think of something funny to say there, but really, that almost never works out for me. You know, and usually, like, by the time I actually do... If, if it actually happens, if I actually do think of something funny, it's usually, like, too late. Because if I do say it then, people are gonna be like, Oh, delayed it. reaction in the comments. Starfish man, he's our man! Actually, he's our starfish! 
Way to catch on what you said there. Okay, so you see how I keep on blowing these uh these lamps around? Yeah, I keep doing that to get extra sleep disease, and actually that may prove useful in the future, actually. I think there's um I don't think it's actually a lamppost, but it, here here soon you will save the city! Okay, French guy. Just don't ask me to French kiss, please. I didn't mean to sound, you know, if, I didn't mean to, to be mean to, um, be racist against French, wow, I'm, I'm just being stupid, okay, Dude, just pull the freaking tab, thank you. up the stairs yeah right here you see antennas um if you blow on all these i think you'll actually get a sleepy seed this way if you blow like all the sleep all the antennas in town yeah it's kind of an annoying thing to do but if you if you blow on everyone you see then it'll work so, i don't know how it works again then i just i just remember getting a sleepy seed by blowing through the antennas i i didn't and I don't even know if it was by blowing all the antennas in the area, or just the, that one that was right next to where a sleepy seat is. Yeah, I don't know. Ugh. I got another fan to blow here. That sounds wrong. Whenever I say blow, like, I'll never think of the word blow the same way ever again, ever since I became a teenager. I'm just never going to think of it the same way. Got another antenna here. Also, something else you can do, um might prove to be useful is if you use the the bluster puff attack i think that's what it's called then you will yeah if you use it on the dogs you'll stun them momentarily like it'll make them their, make their paper forms fall to the ground and yes you actually do take damage by touching them which is kind of stupid because you know they're just paper really you know? patrick will be hurt by that Flatso. Get me Flatso. Or Flatso in these guys' case. Yeah. Remember I said, I said a lot of bad puns when I did Let's Play Barnyard, you know, back in the summer last year. That was fun. Uh, Tan, don't forget. What do we have here? We have a tall building, Patrick. Was he just walking backwards? What the hell? Oh my god, he's never actually- that- that has never happened before. He was walking backwards. Oh my god, he's officially Michael Jackson. I don't care what anyone says, he's officially Michael Jackson for doing that. Alright. That's another thing I need to do. I need to overreact to things happening in the game more often because people have told me- You know, I ask for advice all the time on- how I should do my commentary. And really, people people are like, well, you should overreact to stuff more often, you know, like Chugga Conroy does, but I don't want to try to resemble Chugga Conroy in any way. Before you say anything, I have a plan to deal with this. Does it involve using your supercharge attack? No, it was something to do with rope and jellyfish and a picture of Squidward. But your way sounds better. What was Patrick gonna do with that pic picture square once he had anyways? And, and since, well, then again, he did say that. Um, Last time I ran out of walls, Squidward laughed at me, but it'll be different this time. No, he's still gonna be laughing at you because you made the entire building fall down. So, yeah. All right. Um, Are you a goon or a minion? What's the difference between a goon and a minion, you idiot? Well, that I guess that's the point. You know, Patrick always says something stupid. Every now and then. That's the way he is. And that's what I like about his character. I like stupid characters. Because it's their stupidity that makes them awesome. If that makes any sense. Here's another po There's another billboard for um, Dread Patrick right there. Dreaded Patrick. Starfish Man. Wait, Starf... What? It says something in a cute kind of way or whatever. Yeah, that's... That's another thing that I found kind of weird, was that it refers to him as evil or dreadful or something like that in a cute kind of way. Also, if you blow this fan, fan all the way, this platform will fall down and you'll get a secret golden Sleepy Z. Once again, there were 10 regular Sleepy Z, so they're 
pretty useful. Hello, phone dude. Starfish man, next you need to learn to use your hot and cold ability. The nearer you get, the hotter you'll be. If you go far away, then you'll get colder. <sighs> okay, so... Yeah, it was already explained, so I don't really need to. Alright, so here's another antenna right here. Go figure. I don't know why I said go figure there, because it didn't really fit at all with what was going on. Yep, hot, hot, hot. Just the way you like it, Patrick. Just the way you like Spike. Okay, moving on. Just got another checkpoint. And another phone dude. Hello. Okay, Starfish Man. You'll need to get past that nasty looking critter. Betcha. He's attached to that Betcha. Button. If you ground Betcha. slam it enough, he should run off. Yay! More slamming! Yeah, more slamming, more slammy, slammy. Patrick's gonna get more slammy, slammy with his slammy self. That sounded kind of sick minded, but you know. I'm a teenager, what do you expect? What's supposedly supposed to be the best days of my life, but I mean the best years of my life, but really they're not, to be honest. Sometimes, you know, I just to say the least, you know, these these past two years have actually been the worst of my life, to be honest. I'm just I'm just thinking this out of honesty. Yeah, these I don't know why I'm saying this, but yeah, these two years actually have been the best of my life. Even though a teenage you know, 16, 17 or whatever, they're supposed to be the best years of your life, but you know, that's not always the case, you know. You know, I shouldn't be complaining anyways, because, you know, I have a... I have sports, I have a girlfriend, I have decent grades, you know. Yeah, I just need to step it up and stop feeling sorry for myself, because, you know, I'm happy with the sports I'm in, I, and... And, uh, apparently we've reached the end of this, uh, part of the, the, uh, the dream stage. So I think that's, this is a good stopping point for Let's Play, okay? So, um, yeah, next time on Let's Play Creature from the Krusty Krab, we're going to continue on through, um, Starfish Man to the Rescue, okay? So I will, um, see you guys then. Uh, MCG signing out. Sorry about any of the any of the negative stuff I said later in the video, just just know that even though these have been somewhat the worst years of my life, it's just, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with the stuff I have, because really the stuff that I, those two things that I mentioned, you know, sports and my girlfriend, and, you know, they've been making it slightly better, you know, have been really helping, and so is this, doing, doing these Let's Plays. So, you know, I'm just really really glad that I've got these let's plays and in the sports world it's just, it's mainly my relationship with my girlfriend that keeps me keeps me going every day too but I, I'm not really gonna talk about I'm just not gonna talk about much okay because it's really this is not the best place to do that not on the internet so but yeah I'll see you guys next epi episode okay so next time on let's play well I, I already said so I'll see you guys next episode bye